Hi guys, I'm in my office. Um, it is the middle of the day. My little cherubs are up and I have them occupied, so I'm hoping they're not going to bother me too much. Um, so I want to do quick, two quick unboxings. I haven't looked at these things yet, and um, I'm going to do it really, really quick before I get bothered. So the first thing I got were those Etsy straps for the Fendi bag that I posted about that I got at Goodwill. So we're going to find out right here now if these fit and how they look. So hopefully everything will be fine. Um, the name of the seller is Pretty Little Assets. And like I said on the other video, there were a lot of options. So hopefully if these work out, it'll be an option for you. I can use the placement straps. So these look a little bit thinner than the original. Um, let's take it out. I stuck it inside. So the color looks like it's going to be a good match. So yeah, this is the original. So it is going to be thinner. But I'm cool with that. So I'm going to put them on real quick. The anticipation has been killing me. Um, so I'm still not sure if I want to keep these, this bag, or if I want to sell it. So, so far as I'm putting it on, the match is pretty close. I mean, it's not going to be the same as the designer straps, obviously. So, I've resolved myself to that fact, but as long as it's something that makes the bag usable and that's all I can hope for well they fit so that was my big worry now I pulled a muscle I've been I've been exercising I've been working out so I am in total bum bum workout gear type clothes so don't judge me too much um it looks like this makes the strap drop a little shorter I have it on the longest setting but here we go it makes the bag usable. That's all I was worried about. So here it looks. Up. And it feels kind of like the Damier Bean on Louis Vuitton, like thick. And hopefully with some time, it'll loosen up. I think at first glance, I'm really not going to notice too much of a difference. So again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this baby or if I'm going to sell this baby, but now it's usable, so I'm glad it fit. I'm excited about that. All right, so now for the other quick thing I wanted to unbox, and it was my first ever purchase from um, Yogi's Closet, Yogi's Closet, um, however you pronounce it. Um, I've gotten all of my used things either from Fashion File or um, from Lapri slash Snob Swap, which is what Lapri used to be called. My hair is horrible, sorry. Um, so, I was a little upset because it was supposed to be a signature um, that I was supposed to sign from UPS. And um, I put my kids to nap, I wasn't here yet, and I laid downstairs kind of waiting for the doorbell to ring. And when um, I had seen that my Etsy thing had been delivered, I went outside to go get the mail, and the box was sitting on my step from Yogi's Closet. So, I mean, Anybody could have just stolen it off of my porch. I'm kind of mad that I didn't sign for it like I was supposed to. But anyway, came in a large box. It is a large bag. Um, again, I haven't even looked at it yet. I just um, opened it up. Yogi's Closet. Very nice. Okay. Air paper. Now, I was not sure because, like I said, I haven't um, bought anything from Yogi's Closet before. What their packaging was like. Looks like my receipts in here, all that good stuff. Um, here it is. It's a plastic bag, which I like that added layer protection. I mean, closet bus bag, which is nice. I wasn't sure if they did that like fashion style. Okay. Now, this bag I had never seen before. I had seen the style of bag, but not this particular print. So when I was able to get it at already a cheap price plus a coupon code, I was all over it. So this is the Pavis GM in the um, 
Tahitian print. So this is pre when the Tahitian never folds were out. I believe this is 2008. And it is large. So the thing that drew me to it, obviously, um, the print's really, really cute. Um, I'm a little scared about using a cotton bag, but what I liked about it is that it's treated leather. Um, so I feel like as far as the summer bag goes, this is going to be a little bit more carefree. Um, I'm not as scared about having a spot treat fabric as I am ruining leather for all time. So here's what it looks like fully open. And this doesn't have snaps like I've seen other models that it do. It closes this way. You get inched in and smaller. So I'll probably more than likely wear it like this unless I need it big. Um, I'm looking at this, I see no stains, I see no rips. The corners are a little bit dirty. It does have some feet. Um, now, the plate is scrubbed, which I know happens on these bags, but I don't see any other damage. Um, I always keep my tags. This talks about how it's been authenticated. That way, if I do ever want to go resell it, um, I can have that as my proof of authentication. Um, yeah, I see no damage on this, so I'm super, super, super set. A little dirt the bat right here. I'm trying to be quick because I know my son is going to bang on the door in a second. All right. I'm sweating like a pig. It was so hot in the stairs. Um, all right, so we have a public air sweeper. The interior of this bag is also got like the miniaturized version of the Tahitian print on the inside. We have a Tom Paris scene in Spain. Um, so on the inside, we have a smaller cell phone pocket. Um, since this bag was made 11 years ago, they didn't quite uh, have cell phones the size of what we have today. Um, here's my iPhone. Yeah, it's not going in there, but that's okay. I'll find something else to put in there. I'll put my gum in there. Um, and then it has a zipper compartment. Now the zipper compartment is deep. It's not very wide, which is kind of surprising. So that is my reveal. Um, the other day I switched out of my Neverfull trunk to my Samier B Neverfull because it was supposed to thunderstorm, which it never wound up doing. I've been using summery bags. Um, with that muscle pull I was telling you about, I really haven't been going anywhere or doing anything. So one of the things I was desperately trying to find on YouTube was a comparison between the two. So you can see, this is MM Neverfull. All my Neverfulls are MM. This is a bit longer and a bit uh, wider than a Neverfull. So I'll be transferring my stuff in here. We have a trip coming up, and I'm definitely just going to use the bag I bring. I feel like I'll be able to use it for all of my stuff, plus all of my mom's stuff, you know. And I'll stand up just to give you an idea what it looks like. I am so psyched. I know I'm going to probably be using this baby for the rest of the summer. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good one. Bye.